Okay, so what I'm going to do is teach you how to do a simple slideshow using a Google Web Designer. A Google Web Designer is an HTML5 uh, animation application that's typically used for creating banner ads, but what we're going to use it for is to create a slideshow. So when you first uh, fire up Google Web Designer, it's going to ask you to create a new file for your project. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so you've got a lot of options in here. Um, what we're going to do is we want our gallery to be a fixed size. So I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, banner preset here. And what I'm going to do is go here where it says dimensions. I'm going to say custom. And I'm going to put a custom size in for my uh, slideshow. Okay. Okay, publish size is going to be default. And then the name of the uh, project is going to go right here. All right, so everything else looks good. So let's go ahead and say okay. All right, so here's my uh, here's my stage for my project right here to use a term that uh, Edge Animate uses. So I'm ready to go ahead and go. Okay, so what we want to do is come over here to um, over here to the uh, right hand side, and we want to go under components here, and we're going to scroll down through. We'll see a lot of stuff in here. And what we're going to use is something called the carousel gallery. So let's go ahead and drag that into place. Okay. All right. So when you first do this, you're going to find that you can't actually resize this gallery. So you want to come over here where it says transform control and go ahead and check that on. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and resize this to fill this area here. Now you'll note here that my aspect ratio is, um, you know, a little bit, um, a little bit uh, wider than it is high, okay, and that's because I'm using the shift key to constrain proportion. So it's um, going to be about the right size for images, and I'll have a little bit of border at the top and the, and the bottom of this gallery. Okay, so next thing we want to do is go ahead and add our images. So if you come over here where it says properties, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff in here, and as you scroll down through here, you're going to see. something that says images here. So go ahead and click on that. All right, so what we need to do is we need to add some images. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I've got a folder of images by an artist named John Dunn. And I'm gonna use those to create my gallery. So I'm going ahead and select a few of these here. Okay, I'm holding down the shift key to select them. And um, one of the things I want to note here is that when you're creating your gallery of images, you want to make sure that your images are not like super huge, not like two megabyte or four megabyte files. You want to run these images through an application such as Photoshop or GIMP or something like that and scale these images down and make them a little more compact so your slideshow will perform a lot better. Okay, so I'll say okay. All right, so here's my images, and then I'll come down here and say OK. All right, so at this point, it looks like nothing's happened, but I've actually added these images uh, to my presentation. So a couple of things that we want to do that we want to, that we want to do with this. If you look right here, you'll see that there's some options here, such as autoplay, include navigation, and use thumbnails. Okay, so um, autoplay, I recommend not using, okay? It's really annoying. What will happen is when the slideshow opens, it will automatically flip through the images, and I'm going to recommend not doing that, okay? Uh, however, I am going to suggest that you do include navigation, and the reason why I'm ask, suggesting this is that this is a swipeable gallery that will work on a mobile device, so you can swipe across these images with your finger, but um, if you're working on a computer, you're going to want to have a simple way of navigating through the images. So we'll say include navigation. All right, so we're ready to go. Come over here and save our project. Okay, cool. And now come down here and say publish. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is publish locally. Okay, all right, and it's going to come back and it's going to say, I'm going to go ahead and publish this. It's going to, this is where it's going to go. And um, go ahead and just use all of the default options here. Okay, so don't want to check anything and say publish. Okay, and all right, great. So it looks like our, uh, our slideshow has been published. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm going to drag down here. Okay, and here's the folder that has my, uh, my gallery in it. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Okay, and so there's a bunch of files in here that get created, but the one that you're particularly interested in is the is gallery.html. Okay, so this is the name of the project, and this is the web page that's going to that's going to contain it. So we'll go ahead and click on that. 
Okay, it takes a moment to load. Okay, so here's our gallery. Okay, and again, John Dunn's pretty awesome, as you can see. Okay, so there's your slideshow. Pretty slick, right? Okay, looks good. All right, so let me show you a couple other things that you can do real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to go back into Google Web Designer again. Okay, so some other things that you can do inside of your project is you can say, use thumbnails, okay? And what I'll do is instead of having little buttons, you'll have thumbnails for each of your um, for each of your pictures, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. I actually like that. And then the other thing I'll show you right down here that I'm not going to turn on, but I want you to be aware of it, is show advanced uh, settings. So if we click on that, Okay, there's several things in here that we can do in terms of adjusting our frame height and width and things like that. Okay, and those are useful options, but I'm going to leave all this blank. But right down here is one that says show reflection, and it says WebKit. Now, what that means is you're going to get a reflection of the image onto the surface. It looks really neat, but the problem with it is, is it's only going to work in certain browsers, um, such as Chrome and Safari. Okay, so that's going to be entirely up to you as to whether you turn this on or not. It does look really cool, but the uh, downside is it's only going to work in a couple of different browsers out there. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm not going to turn that particular feature on. And uh, now I'm ready to go and save my project again. So I'm going to save it, okay, and then I'm going to publish again. Okay, and it's going to say... Um, your it was published it was published successfully so now let's go look and see what that looks like so again I'm gonna go back to my gallery I'm going to open it okay and it takes a second to load and you'll see now that I've got thumbnails for each of my pictures okay which looks pretty cool it's kind of neat okay 